everyone. And before we get to our devotions today, um, Lord willing, I get to go and actually meet a friend that I've messaged with on Twitter. So this is going to be a really cool day. I'm really excited. So um, I'm praying that everything goes well. Y'all can pray, you know, too, that that all goes well. So here's our devotional for Thursday, December 13th, 2018. As you wait attentively in my presence, the light of the knowledge of my glory shines upon you. This radiant star. This radiant knowledge, oh, transcends all understanding. It transforms every fiber of your being, renewing your mind, cleansing your heart, invigorating your body. Open yourself fully to my presence. Be awed by my glorious being. Try to imagine what I gave up when I came into your world as a baby. I set aside my glory so that I could identify with mankind. I accepted the limitations of infancy under the most appalling conditions, a filthy stable. There was nothing glorious about that setting, though angels lit up the sky proclaiming glory to awestruck shepherds. When you sit quietly with me, the process I went through is reversed in your experience. As you identify with me, heaven's visas open before you, granting you glimpses of my glory. I became poor so that you might become rich. Sing hallelujahs to my holy name. For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. 2 Corinthians 4, 6 Who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. Philippians 2, 6 and 7 Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel praising God and saying glory to God in the highest Luke 2:13 and 14 For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that though he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor so that you through his poverty might become rich 2 Corinthians 8:9 I mean what more can you say to that that just amazes me that Jesus came down to this earth. I mean, if it was me, if I was up there, you know, and God wanted me to come down and, you know, save the world or whatever, I'd be like, I am not leaving this place, (laughs) you know, from going from perfection to just total chaos and craziness and all kinds of stuff. I mean, if, if I were Jesus, I don't think I would have done that. So I just praise God that he did. You know what? It's all because he loves you. Because Jesus loves you. That's why he did that. That's why he came down to this earth where he was misunderstood and, you know, he died on a cross. That's why he rose again from the dead. That's why he went through all of it for you and for me. Praise God. So, may the Lord bless you all and be with you till tomorrow.